What is an AC capacitor and its operation? An AC capacitor, also known as an alternating current capacitor or simply a capacitor, is an electrical component used in AC, alternating current, circuits to store and release electrical energy. It is a passive electronic component that consists of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material, known as a dielectric. The purpose of the dielectric is to prevent direct electrical contact between the plates while allowing the capacitor to store and discharge electrical charge. Here's how an AC capacitor works. Charge storage refers to the process in which electrical charge, typically in the form of electrons, is accumulated or stored within a device or component, such as a capacitor. This process occurs when an external voltage or electric field is applied to the component, causing a redistribution of electrons within it. In the context of a capacitor. Charge accumulation, when a voltage is applied across the terminals of a capacitor, electrons from one terminal are attracted to the other terminal. Electrons move from the negatively charged terminal, the one connected to the power source's negative side, to the positively charged terminal, the one connected to the power source's positive side. This movement of electrons results in an accumulation of negative charge on one plate of the capacitor and an equal accumulation of positive charge on the other plate. Electric field formation, as charge accumulates on the plates, an electric field is established between them. The electric field is created by the charge separation and represents the potential energy stored in the capacitor. Energy storage, the electric field stores energy in the form of electrical potential energy. The greater the voltage applied and the larger the capacitance of the capacitor, the more energy it can store. This stored electrical energy can be released or discharged when needed, and it can be used for various purposes in electronic circuits, as mentioned in the previous response. The ability of capacitors to store and release electrical charge is a fundamental property that makes them valuable components in electronic and electrical systems. Energy storage Energy storage refers to the process of capturing and storing energy in a form that can be retrieved and used later. In the context of electrical systems and components like capacitors, energy storage specifically refers to the storage of electrical energy. Here's how energy storage works in the context of capacitors. Charge accumulation, as mentioned earlier, when a voltage is applied across the terminals of a capacitor, electrons accumulate on one plate, resulting in a negative charge, while an equal number of electrons are removed from the other plate, resulting in a positive charge. This separation of charge stores electrical energy in the capacitor. Potential energy, the accumulated charge, creates an electric field between the plates. This electric field represents stored potential energy. The amount of energy stored is proportional to both the voltage across the capacitor and the capacitance of the capacitor. The formula for energy storage in a capacitor is E is equal to 1 divided by 2 times C times V squared where E is the energy stored in joules, C is the capacitance in farads, and V is the voltage in volts. Energy release, when needed, this stored electrical energy can be released from the capacitor and used to perform work or power electronic devices. The energy is discharged as the charge on the capacitor flows from one plate to the other through an external circuit. Capacitors are used for short-term energy storage in electronic circuits. They can rapidly discharge their stored energy when required, making them useful for tasks like filtering out noise, stabilizing voltage levels, providing bursts of power in electronic devices, and timing circuit operations. It's important to note that capacitors are not typically used for long-term energy storage like batteries or other energy storage devices. Capacitors have relatively small energy storage capacities compared to batteries but excel in applications where rapid energy release or high-frequency electrical filtering is necessary. Energy release Energy release in the context of electrical components, such as capacitors, refers to the process of discharging or releasing the stored electrical energy that has been accumulated within the component. When a capacitor is charged and stores electrical energy, it can later release this energy into an electrical circuit when required. Here's how the energy release process typically works for capacitors. 
Stored energy, initially, a capacitor is charged by applying a voltage across its terminals. This process causes the accumulation of electrical charge on the capacitor plates, creating an electric field and storing electrical potential energy within the capacitor. Discharge circuit, to release the stored energy, the capacitor is connected to an electrical circuit. This circuit provides a path for the flow of electrons between the two plates of the capacitor. When the circuit is closed, the electrons move from the negatively charged plate to the positively charged plate through the external circuit. Energy release, as electrons flow from one plate to the other, the stored electrical energy is discharged into the circuit. This discharge can occur rapidly, and the energy can be used to power devices or perform specific functions within the circuit. The rate at which a capacitor discharges its energy depends on various factors, including the capacitance value, the voltage across the capacitor, and the characteristics of the discharge circuit. Capacitors can discharge quickly in high current applications, such as in camera flash units or pulsed power systems. In other cases, capacitors might discharge more slowly, as seen in applications like timing circuits. The ability of capacitors to release stored energy quickly makes them valuable for tasks such as providing bursts of power, filtering electrical signals, and maintaining stable voltage levels in electronic circuits. Let's dive deeper into AC capacitors, their types, applications, and some additional considerations. Types of AC capacitors Fixed capacitors, these are capacitors with a specific capacitance value that does not change. Common types include ceramic capacitors, tantalum capacitors, and film capacitors. Fixed capacitors are widely used in electronic circuits for coupling, filtering, and timing applications. Variable capacitors, unlike fixed capacitors, these capacitors have an adjustable capacitance value. They are used in applications where you need to vary the capacitance, such as in tuning radio receivers. Electrolytic capacitors, these are polarized capacitors that are commonly used in power supply circuits. They have high capacitance values and are often used for filtering and smoothing AC voltage. Motor run capacitors, these capacitors are specifically designed for use in electric motors. They help improve the motor's efficiency and power factor. Motor start capacitors, these capacitors provide the initial torque to start single phase induction motors. They are often larger and have a higher capacitance value than run capacitors. Applications of AC capacitors Power factor correction AC capacitors are frequently used to improve the power factor of electrical systems. They help reduce reactive power and improve the efficiency of power transmission. Motor run and start capacitors are essential in single phase motors to provide starting torque and smooth operation. They are common in household appliances like air conditioners, refrigerators, and washing machines. Filtering and signal coupling, capacitors are used in electronic circuits to filter out unwanted noise and stabilize voltage levels. They are also used to couple or transfer AC signals between different parts of a circuit. Timing circuits, capacitors can be used in conjunction with resistors to create timing circuits. The time constant, tau, of such circuits depends on the capacitance and resistance values. Lighting applications, in lighting systems, capacitors can be used for power factor correction and in ballasts for fluorescent and HID, high-intensity discharge, lamps. Audio equipment, capacitors are used in audio equipment, such as amplifiers and speakers, for signal coupling and filtering, ensuring better audio quality. Considerations for AC capacitors Polarity, electrolytic capacitors are polarized and must be connected with the correct polarity, or they may fail or even explode. Voltage rating, ensure that the voltage rating of the capacitor is higher than the maximum voltage it will experience in the circuit to avoid breakdown. Capacitance value, choose a capacitor with the appropriate capacitance value for your application. The required capacitance depends on the specific function of the capacitor within the circuit. Temperature and environmental conditions, consider the operating temperature and environmental conditions when selecting a capacitor, as these factors can affect performance and lifespan. Safety, be cautious when working with capacitors, especially when discharging them. 
high voltage capacitors can store a dangerous charge even after the power is disconnected. AC capacitors play a crucial role in a wide range of electrical and electronic applications, helping to manage voltage levels, improve power efficiency, and ensure the proper functioning of various devices and systems. Proper selection and usage of capacitors are essential for reliable and safe operation. Fixed capacitors Fixed capacitors, in the context of electronic components, refer to capacitors with a specific and unchangeable capacitance value. These capacitors are designed to have a constant capacitance that does not vary with changes in voltage, temperature, or frequency. Fixed capacitors come in various types, each with its own characteristics and ideal applications. Here are some common types of fixed capacitors. Ceramic capacitors Ceramic capacitors are widely used in electronics. They are known for their small size, high reliability, and low cost. They come in a wide range of capacitance values and are commonly used for decoupling, filtering, and coupling applications in electronic circuits. Film capacitors Film capacitors are made by sandwiching a thin plastic film between two metal electrodes. They offer good stability over a wide range of operating conditions, making them suitable for applications like timing circuits, signal filtering, and noise reduction. Tantalum capacitors Tantalum capacitors are known for their high capacitance density and stable performance. They are often used in applications where size constraints are critical, such as in compact electronic devices and mobile phones. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors These capacitors have a high capacitance value and are commonly used in power supply circuits for filtering and smoothing purposes. They are polarized and must be connected with the correct polarity to avoid damage. Polyester and polypropylene capacitors These film capacitors have good temperature stability and are suitable for applications like audio coupling and filtering. They are often used in high-fidelity audio equipment. Mica capacitors Mica capacitors are known for their high precision and low loss. They are used in applications where accuracy and stability are critical, such as in radio frequency, RF, circuits. Fixed capacitors are chosen based on their capacitance value, voltage rating, and other electrical characteristics to suit the specific requirements of a circuit. When selecting a fixed capacitor for a particular application, engineers consider factors such as capacitance tolerance, temperature stability, and voltage. Capacitors come in various shapes and sizes, and their capacitance values can range from picofarads, PF, to farads, F, depending on the application. They are widely used in electronics and electrical systems for functions like filtering, timing, energy storage, and power factor correction in AC circuits. Capacitors are essential components in many electronic devices, including power supplies, motors, audio equipment, and more.